Hello everyone, this is HGS Keski here. Welcome back to my channel. It is time for so you guys already know what I'm gonna say. So if you want to hear the intro again, just watch the previous video. I am so excited. Honestly, I feel like the Legacy of the Void campaign is so much more fleshed out than the original StarCraft 2 campaign, which is kind of a no-brainer because it came out like way after the original StarCraft 2 campaign. So it's like, you know, I'm not 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 any surprises there, but it's just what is surprising is how fun it is, and it is definitely held up. I mean, it's been seven or eight years or whatever since this came out, and it holds up. Super, super fun. Uh, we're just going to continue right where we left off without further ado. Uh, but remember, we got we to do the algorithm thing, so post a comment down below. Let's go with the last thing you ate. Super important stuff that the algorithm just needs to, to know about. Post down below the last thing you ate. For me, it was Taco Bell. Baja Blast. This ship is pretty cool. The Spear of a Dune. A marvel of Kalai engineering, and last of the three great Ark ships. It's created to ensure the continuation of our culture in a dark time. Within its chambers rest contingents of zealots, Templar who bravely sacrificed entering suspension so that they may serve as this vessel's army. Though it pains me greatly, I have begun severing their nerve cords. The ship's lower decks contain a star forge capable of constructing weapons of war. There is much to learn about this vessel. Its technology is ancient, yet highly advanced. We are aboard a relic from a glorious time when our culture shined as a constellation. The Celestial Array has been updated, Hierarch. From here, you may select our next point of travel. With this vessel, we will avenge what has transpired, Karax. And we will free the Templar. All right, we get to pick our next destination. I say we go to In and Out. I don't know if that's appropriate. Core Hall or Shakuris? Iron is lost once more. My great vision of reclamation left in ruins. This shall not stand. The Terrans of Korhal have in their possession the Zelnaga Keystone, which Zeratul foresaw would lead to our salvation. Though I have not seen Commander Raynor in many solar returns, I believe he will give the Keystone to us. All right, we have been disconnected from the Blizzard servers. We cannot unlock any achievements, but we can still play. I'm assuming my internet went out because, you know, the thing about LA, love LA, love the weather, love the food, love that you can be in a desert on a mountain and at the ocean all in the same day. Uh, but when it rains half an inch, everything breaks. <laughs> The, the streets fall apart, mudslides, losing power. We lost power four different times. Uh, and also the internet has been so messed up since it first started raining. So uh, am I the real Husky or no? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. I, I should probably actually check that. Uh, let's see. Six billion Terran. Natural satellites too. You know, I'm not even going to look at Shakuris. Because I want to get the Immortal, so we are traveling here. Commander James Raynor. Artanis? There. Ain't you a sight for sore eyes? Friend Raynor, you seem rather 
occupied. Just another day at the office. Who are these insurgents? Call themselves Mobius Corps, an elite guard that used to work for Dr. Narud. They've been striking worlds throughout the sector, leaving few survivors. Each world attacked, reported hybridly in them. Then truly, no world is beyond Amon's reach. Reinforce those bulkheads. Reposition the Mark 7 Alpha. We need to form a battle line. They've overrun Sky Shield, our orbital defense platform. Looks like they've destroyed its atmospheric stabilizers. It's fallen fast. If it crashes, it'll obliterate August Grand. We will ensure that does not happen, Commander. Engage their fleet and keep their assault at bay. Like old times, buddy. Like old times. Hierarch, before our armies engage the enemy, it would be wise to review our military capabilities within the War Council. All right. I mean, Rainer's over there fighting for his life. But yeah, let's go down to the, the cool War Council room. A preserver released from stasis. She still bears her nerve cords. She is tethered to the collar. I am Rohana, Grand Preserver of the Valari, and your War Council Advisor. You must be the Executor in Command. You are not possessed by the Dark One. How is this possible? I feel darkness lingering at the edges of my every thought, but I am not corrupted. Preservers of my station have trained to control the Kala's every rebel. I assure you, I will stave off this evil and serve you better by doing so. As all preservers, I hold the memories and personalities of Protoss prior to my submission to Stasis. This will allow me to contrast your tactical decisions with those of past executors. From this chamber, you will be able to make all military allocations. I am Artanis, Hierarch of the Daylong. I lead all that is left of our civilization. Your memories are indeed of use, Rohana. But make no mistake. If you fall to this corruption, I will not hesitate to destroy you. It is understood. I am prepared for the Firstborn's darkest hour. Come, let me show you what may be done here. This whole time, Jim Rayner getting absolutely destroyed. The assembly panel awaits, Hierarch. We may begin whenever you are ready. All right, let's do it. The assembly panel allows you to customize your own. Now you may choose one of the two factions for use in upcoming battles. These assignments are not permanent and can be altered as our combat needs change. Many battles await you, Hierarch. Choose a faction and lead them to glory. All right, so stuns targeting me, ground unit. We are the blades Good old of charge, whirlwinds. Let's see, do we want whirlwind or do we want dark waves. coil? Stuns targeting me, ground unit, and all enemy units near it for 2.5 seconds. I feel like the Whirlwind is super fun, and I feel like most people would do that one. But I'm kind of kind of wanted to do this one just because it's different. And then Stalker, brief regenerate shields after teleporting, deals bonus damage to armored units. Enhanced damage. Wait, oh, it's the Dragoon. Oh, we're doing Dragoon. We're doing Dragoon. Oh boy, this video's just getting started. My life's just getting started. This playthrough is just getting started because we have. The Dragoon. We are also nine and a half minutes into this video and have not attacked a single Zerg or Terran unit. Oh, we're do I, I literally got chills. I They gave us the Dragoon, like, right off the bat. Whoo, it's on, boy. Uh, new conversation. I have heard only tales of the Grand Preservers. I did not expect to encounter one aboard this vessel. That is not surprising, Hierarch. My sisters and I are unique. Trained from birth to master every intricacy of the Kala. I have experienced its true depth, plunged the infinite spectrum of emotion and memory. 
It is because of this gift we were selected to enter stasis, so that we may guide you in our most dire hour. Your sisters were aboard the other Ark ships? Then they... Are one with the Kala, fallen during the Zerg invasion of Ire. I know this. I feel the tragedy that has befallen us, more deeply than you may realize. A terrible burden has been laid upon you, Rohana. Yet it is my fate to bear it. A fate foreseen by the same minds that constructed this vessel. I trust in their wisdom, Hierarch. I will serve my purpose, much as you must serve yours. Alright, that was a lot of chit-chat. I don't know if I'm going to have time for that every single time, but let's go to the bridge with our Dragoons. I, I want to fight. Do I, do I talk? Like, how do I... Everybody's trying to talk to me. I literally just want to... I just want to... I just want to use my Dragoons. Sky Shield's in serious trouble, old buddy. If we can't bring it back online, August Grad's going to take a nuclear-sized impact. Mobius Corps soldiers are on the platform now, and those guys are suicidal. Rather die than let us stop them. Cool story. Let's get to the Dragoons, please. So much chit-chat. We're literally 11 minutes in. Everybody's just, just chatting away. But I want my Dragoons. I want my Dragoons. They are the best. I also love how they got smarter and, and don't get stuck on every single I thing. Good. Sky Shield's not going to last much longer. At this rate... We've got maybe 10 minutes left till it lands smack dab on our capital. Your suspicions were correct, Commander. Mobius Corps is disabling the platform's atmospheric stabilizers as we speak. The damage appears repairable, Hierarch. Yeah, assuming Mobius Corps leaves anything left to repair. Bertanis, if you can clear out those troops, my boys can patch up those stabilizers. That should buy us some extra time. We must move quickly. It will take the combined power of all five stabilizers to halt the platform's descent. All right, here we go. Got our oh, it's auto cast on the dark coil. That's kind of cool. The central stabilizer is nearby. Securing it first will deliver us a staging ground to assault the other four. Alright, well, I guess they want us to go up there. Basically just a couple of Reapers and Spectres. So I think we can probably take that pretty quick. Especially once we have our Dragoons! Kind of thought the hotkey was going to be D. Got to be completely honest. It's kind of weird summoning a Dragoon using S, but, you know, that's what they want me to do. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's see, can I just waltz right up here with this? I feel like with the two Dragoons... And my, my super awesome zealots. This is going to be great. Yeah. Get. Oh, oh. They're actually. Oh, it's actually kind of hurting. Actually kind of hurting a little bit. The specters are kind of hurting. Okay. we. Can, oh, man. That charge is like wicked fast. We're just going to keep getting dragoons. I'm going to use dragoons as much as I possibly can in every mission. Hey, we got some cool stuff. Is he going to repair me? Oh, I guess it already did. Activate the Spear of a Dune's weapons cluster. Bombardment systems online. Prepare for orbital strike. can now be fired from the Spear of Adun's command panel, Hierarch. Durability calculations updated. Commander, your construction vehicles can begin the repairs. Thanks, Artanis. My boys are putting a sensor tower here. Should alert you if Mobius Corps swings through this area. We shall see. Okay, give me them Dragoons. They are so fun. And I, is it literally... Okay, wait, I'm... I feel like I'm tripping. Did it change the game speed again? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I, I My mind can't, like, tell the difference. 
Okay, no, it's on faster. I'm literally, I literally am losing it because it keeps changing it back. And I'm just getting myself so confused. And let's see, is it going to let me build anything other than gateways? No, but it's pretty much just Dra Dragoon Zealot, which is as it should be, you know? That's basically all I would make in uh, in Brood War was Dragoon Zealot, because they're like my favorite units. Uh, orbital Strike, fire five layers on the battlefield from orbit, each of them dealing 50 to 100 damage if they're armored. Weapon ahead. Its pulse will slowly damage our shields. We should destroy it if possible. Completing bonus objectives will allow me to improve the Spear of the Dune's power level in the future. Well, I do like the idea of improving the power level. Man, zealots that like AoE stun, kind of amazing. Dragoons fire slow, but powerful antimatter bolt. I think I'm going to uh, go ahead and go over here and grab this stuff. Keep making these guys because they are the best. And maybe put a pylon up here. There's that. All right. Well, I guess we'll head this way just because I happen to be down here now. Oh, my zealots. They're so good, though. Oh, he's alive because he's awesome. Oh, nope. He's not going to survive that, is he? Uh, poor, poor zealots. Yeah, I feel like you can go back there. I don't have enough enough workers. Do you think they're going to counter my base? Counterattack my base? What do you guys think? Oh, man. These guys do move awfully slow, though. You Hellions do not stand a chance. This is literally the perfect unit to be attacking a Hellion. This is all going swimmingly. Oh, I just love how the Dragoon talks. Absolutely love it. Okay, now we can start getting uh, getting those upgrades. I mean, are the Terran even going to make anything out of this? It's like, I feel like it's literally just sitting there. But, might as well do that. Sky Shield crashes in six minutes. Do I literally have to run around and do all this stuff in six minutes? Mobius Corps is mobilizing an attack against our Nexus Point. Rally our defenses. Oh, geez. I have one Dragoon. I have one Dragoon over here. Maybe uh, maybe my ultimate ability thing will help out. Oh, my gosh. This is not going well. These solar light reactors can be used to improve the solar core's energy output. I detect two more of these devices on the platform. If possible, you should seek them out. Okay, well, I mean, literally, do I even have time for this? Like, is this whole mission going to end in, in four minutes or whatever? Five minutes when this thing crashes? Why are... Ah! Okay, maybe the Zealot can save us. Oh, boy. Come on, Zealot. You can do it. You can do it, Zealot. You're actually good against this sort of... The Dragoons are so slow, but I believe in them. I totally believe in my Dragoons. Did I even get the money here? Oh, I missed one there. Okay, we need more than two gateways. For some reason, I thought that it had given me more than two gateways, but that is definitely not the case. Alright, well... Am I literally just going to run out of time? That's kind of what has me worried right now. Definitely has me worried. Alright, well, there's not much up here. Oh, yes, there is. Okay, the Reapers I can take. We outrange that little turret, which is kind of nice. We can take these guys on pretty easily. I am all about these Dragoons. Stalkers would maybe make this a little bit easier, but Dragoons are just so fun, you know? It would be nice if these guys kind of would hurry up. Solarite reactor now. All right, how are we looking? Sky Shield's descent is rapidly approaching critical. We must repair a stabilizer quickly. Oh, I see. So it is gonna help out. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run up there. Oh, geez. Are these guys coming right for me again? Indeed, they are. All right, we can at least. 
Get some more of those. Hopefully this is enough Dragoons. They're so slow. We don't have time for this. Mobius core is deeply entrenched in that location. An orbital strike would help weaken their defenses. Oh, well, that would have been helpful to know about 15 seconds ago. Oh, I see. Uh, I mean, is it even worth it at this point? I mean, what if I use it down here? Is this going <laughs> to kill my stuff? Let's try it. Wait, you can do multiple charges? What? I don't even know what's over there, but it's not going to be there for long. Oh, geez, they're still alive. Oh, man, this is not an ideal situation, everybody. All right, well, at least they're shooting the, the one building that can, like, survive forever. Okay, I think we're going to be okay. Can you guys kill this fast enough? Why are you... Okay, we got that. Woo, boy. Not not an ideal situation that I'm constantly finding myself in. Nice work. Got a repair crew inbound. Heads up. Looks like Mobius Core is starting to reinforce the stabilizers. Oh, great. Expect some heavier resistance. Great, because this is already just going so well. Put a pile on there, I guess. But I just want to win with Dragoons. That's all I want in my life. Look at the Dragoons. They're so cute. I love them. I want a million Dragoons. That's all I want for Christmas. It's not... I mean, Christmas isn't for 10 months, but all I want is more Dragoons. That is all I want. That's all I need. That's all I'm asking for. Okay, we're gonna get one more batch of them and then we're going in. And we, we got our we got our orbital cannon thing ready. It is so ready. So I think we're gonna go over here. Oh, they're slow, but you know, they're awesome. Yeah, you guys got nothing. You guys got nothing on me. Okay, that was definitely a waste. But hey, it means more dragoons on the front lines, and that is what really matters. All right, still only three minutes till the next crash. So hopefully, oh man, the why does the pylon cost seventy five, and this super op laser beam of death only costs fifty? Wait, what is this? Oh my! Not good. Look how slow these are. These are so slow. This is not. This is not ideal. I really gotta learn to to make cannons, guys. Oh, the dragoons are so slow. Oh, this is painful. Okay, maybe these guys can do it. A warning, High Rock. If we do not repair Sky Shield soon, we will be unable to stop its descent. You don't think I'm aware of the situation? You don't think I'm aware of what is going on here? Okay, maybe my one cannon can save the day. These dragoons are so slow and yet I love them so much okay kill the super turret and then yeah we, we gotta waltz our way all the way back over there and I am gonna put a cannon maybe here and here and maybe they will leave me alone that would be fantastic I I just want to continue making dragoons I know the zealots are great oh man we only got two minutes this is actually kind of making me a little bit nervous here and, and these guys could not go any slower. Whoever at Blizzard made these guys so slow, I'm so sad about it. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, this is not good. That is not ideal. Wait, we gotta do this. Aha. There, there. And a siege tank. And you. And who else is there? I feel like he's gonna hit everybody already. Uh, I guess we're just gonna do that. Secure a stabilizer quickly. Well, I'm securing a tank. Do I have to kill this? Is this secured? Woo! Okay, well, what do we learn? Stabilizer has been cleared of enemy forces. Gotcha. Repairs underway. We have definitely learned. Man, you're sure pissing Mobius Corps off. A lot of troops guarding the stabilizers. Make sure you got enough forces to engage. I definitely do not. Do not have enough forces to engage. Which is why I'm trying to do this. It may be too little too late, however. Let's see. Okay, guys are coming down there. I do have cannons. I don't know if it's nearly enough. But at least I see them coming this time. Because I'm kind of paying attention. Alright, we're going to make a few zealots. Even though I don't want to. Hey, hey, look at that. Look at that. Oh, and the micro. 
Oh, we're, we're, we, 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 we are doing just so great now. Yes. Easy. I kind of wish these SCVs would repair me, not going to lie. Okay, so... No, not that. You need to... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Chrono boost that. No, don't attack it. Okay, you know what? Everyone avert your eyes. Do not look at what's happening inside my base. All right, so I'm going to try and go down here, I guess. Hopefully we can make this happen. I think we can. And we're not going to do a random pylon that totally screws us over this time. Alright, here we go. Impact imminent. I recommend repairing a stabilizer as soon as possible. You don't say. Alright, thankfully dragoons are good against this stuff. So that's kind of nice. Once we can see all this stuff going on. All right, here we go. Oh boy, it's time. Uh, maybe there? I don't know if that kills your own units. It sure looked like it did. Oh, jeez. Oh, the seeker missiles. Ah! Man, they really do have a lot of units, though. I mean, he was not he was not joking about that. Okay, we got this though. I think we actually got this one pretty straightforward. Apparently, there was all reapers in there. An interesting choice. Calculations update. Come back. Only one stabilizer still there we go. Remains in enemy hands. We must Ooh. make haste. All right. Why don't you repair me, dude? I feel like you should repair me. That'd be way cooler. Hey, I actually have units in the right spot for once. I think I can take this on. Maybe. Oh, a battle cruiser. Perfect. Perfect. Just what I was hoping for was battle cruisers. Oh, and the guy's not even going to repair me. Thanks for nothing. Thanks for literally nothing. Alright, we're kind of in a group though. Battle cruisers literally don't have anything on me. Apparently I can afford even more gateways just off this one base. That will definitely be kept in mind for next time. Yeah, they give you enough money to last the entire mission. At least that's nice. I'm just gonna come grab this. Don't mind me. This map is actually quite large. I'm kinda surprised. Somehow this pylon's still alive that I placed in the worst spot ever, but it's also becoming actually, like, quite clutch. Okay, so I have four minutes. You guys think I have time to run all the way up here and kill that? I think so. I think we do. I think this is what we're going to make happen. Somehow can afford all these Dragoons, which gets me very excited. More money over here. Don't really have time for it. Let's just warp in a bunch of zealots. Maybe they can run over there quickly. Oh, they're going to run into that. But they, they can take that on. Man, they love Reapers and Bunkers. It is an interesting strat. Okay, we should be able to kill that pretty quick. Kill these guys off. The final Solarite reactor is being warped aboard now. I will begin installing them as soon as possible. Yeah, get that Solarite. Oh, I'm feeling good now. I don't think we're going to lose. I really don't. Impact coming shortly. We should secure another stabilizer. Oh, we're going to we're going to secure all the stabilizers. Just you wait. Just you wait. Pow. Definitely thought that I could see over here a little bit better. But since we can't, we're just going to have fun with what we got. Oh, nope. Oh, did not see. It. Nope, nobody saw me attack that Dragoon. Definitely do not post down below that you saw me kill my own Dragoon, because that is not that is not who I am, everybody. I am not the type of person. This is like a YouTube apology video. You know, that's just not me. You know, I would, I would like to apologize for anyone that I've offended when I did that. You know, when I killed the Dragoon, it, it's just not who I am. It's like, well, actually it is, because that's literally what you just did. Okay, so I think we secured... Oh, there's one Spectre. Oh, well, he's not going to be able to stop us. Yeah, is that it? Is that it? Did we actually do it? Friend Raynor, Sky Shield has been stabilized, and Mobius Corps is retreating. Admiral Horner will take control of the station from here. You gotta say, I owe you big time for this one, partner.
Oh, wow. Okay, well, turns out Dragoons are super slow and super awesome. Stalker is probably better in every single way, but man, there's just something nostalgic about the good old Dragoon. I'm going to continue to use the Dragoon as much as I possibly can. Should be awesome. And, you know, when speed is of the essence, the, the Dragoon is not it. When mobility is of the essence, literally using Seeker missiles on me? Really? It's like the fourth mission. You're blowing me up with all these Seeker missiles? Dragoons are too slow to get away from it. Uh, it just makes that much, more, that much more fun, though. All right, well, this game was super, super fun. Uh, we're back on track. I feel like we're having fun. We didn't lose one for one, so that's kind of nice. One of these videos, I just know, is going to be like an hour and a half long because I'm going to lose once or twice, and it's going to be very depressing. However, that is not right now. So I'm going to continue playing these games because they are fun. Having so much fun, honestly. Like, if you guys haven't revisited this game in a while, I don't know. You should you should play it if you get a free second. It is super, super fun. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy it. And, of course, I'll see you guys next time.